Hey everyone, Josh coming to you once again with another barefoot shoe review. And today, once again, we're doing sandals because hey, it's summertime, you know, at least at the time of making this video. And uh, I love wearing sandals a, a, a lot of the year. I'm in Southern California in good old San Diego. And uh, a lot of you are just wherever you are, it's summertime anyway. So check it out, you're gonna like it. Uh, but real quick, before we do that, hit like, hit subscribe on this channel. And also, ram a lemon ding dong, hit the notifications bell because Sometimes I do videos and you're going to want to get them quick, um, like sale announcements that are hot, things like that. You know, if you can get a break on Barefoot Shoes, why not do that? You're going to get notified when I do those videos. So anyway, hit like, subscribe, and notify. And then next, you want to follow me on Instagram, Barefoot Shoe Josh, so that you can get more detailed reviews there than what you get on these videos. Believe it or not, I score each shoe in 10 different areas, a score of 1 to 10 in every category. For a maximum score of 100, you get, it really helps you can compare which shoe is wider, this one or that one, which shoe is thinner, this one or that one. You get, like, if you're you know, determining what you're going to buy and looking at different recommendations, it really helps. So do that, Barefoot Shoe Josh on Instagram, and let's get into it. All right, so this, this, this shoe company, this sandal company, is in Austria. The name of the company could be French, it could be Spanish. It could be, uh, they're in Austria, so maybe German or Austrian or, or Dutch. I, I'm not sure. So um, whichever language you choose, what it means is awesome sandals. I'm probably going to butcher it, but it's like geniale sandale. Geniale sandale. Uh, something like that. Anyway, that I'm, pro I'm probably more in the Italian sort of pronunciation there. But it means awesome sandals. So they are awesome. Especially like if you're like me, I've been barefooting almost 10 years. And you've been doing it a while, you're, you, you probably try to go more and more and more minimal as you go. You want thinner and thinner and lighter and less on your foot and more like being barefoot as possible. And if, that, if, you're, if that's the case for you, these are going to be something that you're going to want to check out for sure. Check them out. Now, I got this one tied. You can tie them up a hundred different ways. This is just what I did. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes. It's just a flat piece of, I'll get into what the materials are in a minute, with a cord on it. Tied it, you know, it popped through there at the toe cord point, tied there, little heel space, tied, tied there. All you have to do is get that all adjusted to your foot and then tie one little knot there. That's the most light, minimal way you can go. But I've seen people wrap them around their ankles, looking like Roman soldiers. I've seen them mix in a second color cord and get really creative. I mean, if you, if you YouTube, like... Uh, custom tying your sandals you can find a hundred different uh, ways to tie this thing but I just did it I just did the basic thing honestly I came up from this and then I tied the basic knot and then I wrapped it back around just to give it a little creativity and I tied it off here I haven't yet cut off the excess because I'm not 100% convinced that's how I'm gonna leave it uh, I barely tried them on but you can see it was enough for me to leave a footprint <laughs> and the cool thing is I ordered them a little bit large on purpose so that I could custom cut to the shape of my foot. So you can see my little toesy prints there. And I'm probably going to cut that off. And I may include that on this video. I might not. I'm not sure. I might do a separate video. And I can cut a little off the heel probably. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll see. How. I'm, I'm going to get them. I'm going to go on a two-mile two, two mile walk at least. See how they shift and, and, and things like that. And make sure I give myself enough excess space so that my toes don't end up hanging over the front if I cut it too short. Or my heel doesn't end up hanging off the back if I cut it too short. So anyways, it's super cool, customizable, it's uber thin. Now you want to talk thin and lightweight, okay? Thin, first of all, these things are under three millimeters. That's nuts. Uh, I don't know if you can see how thin it is, but you can see it's two layers. You see there's a gray layer and a black layer. Okay, now the materials. The bottom, puncture resistant recycled rubber. You can see the grip a little bit there. It's just a light grip. It's not like a hardcore hiking sandal or something. It's like cruising around town sandals, right? The top layer is either genuine leather or vegan leather, depending on which one you choose. And the cord is either hemp cord, if you want to go full organic materials, or uh, a nylon paracord, which, uh, which in the military I used to call 550 cord. You can buy this stuff at the store. So if it ever you know snaps or breaks or you want additional colors, you can go to the store. But I bought two extra colors. This, this one here is brown. You can, yeah, you can see that. Um, I bought two other colors. I, I don't see them at the moment, but they're only $5 to buy another color. So if you're buying this pair of sandals, you might as well throw in another color or two. Uh, they're only 50 bucks plus $15 shipping from Austria to the U.S. So you're all out 65 for the most minimal sandal you will own. All the barefoot shoe stuff intact, of course, zero drop. I mean, there's nothing to drop. It's just a flat piece, you know, two layers. Uh, zero drop, no arch supports. 
um, anatomic foot shape and customizable. You know, I'm, I'm just keeping them on my feet a little bit and I'm going to customize that cut. I can already tell I'm going to cut a big chunk off the front. And, uh, oh, flexibility. I mean, no, com no comparison. There's no shoe that thin. I mean, I, I could probably get a new tire of that, but why? You know, um, they're nuts. So um, that's the bulk of it, but let's tell you real quick. Okay, the owner, Annika, super cool. She started making her own sandals in college. She went to work for Vivo Barefoot, learned a lot about the industry and business side of things and everything like that. She started her own company. Boom, there you have Jenny Alessandale in uh, Austria. And the materials, like I said, organic leather, uh, organic leather from Bavaria or vegan leather from Austria. The rubber is from Germany. The cord, I already said that it's either, a, oh, but the nylon cords even are 100% recycled bottles or the hemp cord. And then what else? Puncture resistant rubber, recycled rubber, nylon, blah, 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 Vienna, Austria. Oh, they have like five or six different colors of leather. I chose a dark one because my feet like to leave these dark, grubby looking prints on, on uh, all the colors. So, but they do have nice light tan, beige, brown colors. They have a black. I went for the one called Cole. It's kind of a dark gray, as you can see, and you can even still see my, my footprint. Um, what else? They have 12 different colors of laces to choose from, so pretty much whatever color you want, and some of them are mixed, little patterny cords. Uh, $50. Oh, they do have a B-grade one. I don't know what could possibly be wrong with a B-grade one, but they do have B-grade ones for $37.50, so that's even cheaper if you want to just you know go, go cheaper just to try them out and make sure you like them. Um, oh, and then rather than tying a knot, they also offer two other options, a buckle or a pendant. So you would tie a buckle onto this cord, tie a buckle, oh, that's probably easier to explain on this bare one. You could either tie a buckle onto the end of this, half of the buckle here and half of the buckle there, and then you just clip them on, clip them off. Or you can tie a little pendant, it looks like a little anchor, and it hooks on there, and because it's tied on your foot while you're wearing it, it stays hooked. And when you want it off, you just unhook it, boom, it's unhooked. So that's all the cool, and each of those little things are like, 150 or three dollars they're super cheap little options you can get pendants to hang on their little peace signs and whatever different stuff so super customizable a hundred different ways to tie them super cool ultra light ultra minimalist oh speaking of light 5.3 ounces for this thing so a pair of sandals 10 and a half ounces roughly i'm ballparking of course but 10 and a half ounces for a pair of sandals i don't i don't think i've reviewed anything any sort of footwear lighter than that that's nuts Great company, great shoes. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little, you know, put them on my feet. I gotta retie this one and uh, and all that, get it adjusted. I'm gonna try them on my feet, do a little spin around for you. Uh, I'm, you may see also me custom cutting these. You might see a test walk. I'm not sure what I'm gonna include on the end of this, but if you wanna hang around, hang around. If not, catch you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by either way. All right, so I'm getting ready to cut my sandals. And I want to make sure I leave plenty of space past my toes. So I'm just kind of trying to get a main kind of length here. And then after that, I'll just kind of make it do a little curve. And a little curve on that side. Just to give me a general guideline. And then I'm not going to have a super flat front on it like that. So here's my other one. I already kind of made a little kind of a mark there. But let me go a little bit. And then I'll do another little hair. And All right. So I'm trying to get a... here. Try to see how this goes. It's actually significantly easier than I was prepared for it to be. <laughs> I thought, oh no, that puncture around it that is there. So that's a little bit more like my shoot, my foot shape. So and erase some of the excess pencil line. Boom. Oh. 
Let's erase the excess here. There you have it. Hey guys, here we are. You just saw me cutting my fresh new sandals to match the shape of my foot a little better. I may still trim it a little bit, I'm not sure, but I think I got it, you know, pretty close for now. Uh, but what I wanted to do here is I still have this leftover string hanging. You see that I, you know, tied it up kind of creatively instead of just leaving it one string, which would be light and neat on its own, but I just wanted to be a little quirky. So, but I still have this leftover cord. And now that I've adjusted the tightness and, and been back and forth on it a couple times, been on a couple walks now, I'm pretty sure it's adjusted the way I want it. I'm ready to cut the excess string off. So let's do it. I'll go right there. Boom. Cut. And then you finish it off with a little, and I don't smoke, but I do have a lighter around for birthday candles and uh, things like this which I have to do on occasion. And that's all there is to it. And that's really what they did to the cord under here as well. It looks like they just burn it off and uh, if you need to adjust it from there later, uh, you know, it's reasonably priced. And there we go. My sandal's basically done. I could probably go a little shorter than that on that cord and I might. All right, here's the other one. that's it that's all she wrote beautiful sandals that's it all right so uh ooh. so the walk test i've been on like i said a couple of walks just trying to get them adjusted i i, I got my left one adjusted perfectly the very first time I, I don't know by some sorcery uh but my right one it was too tight so i loosened it up it was too loose i tightened it up it was too tight and then the fourth time was the charm on this one uh, finally got it to match the other one because you know this one feels perfect and if this one's just a tiny bit off of the way the left one felt I, I don't know I just have sensitive feet but got them all adjusted perfectly now for me uh, some of you probably won't take that long to do it you'll hit it right the first time but that's what we got now we're all finalized and finished up and I'll do a little turnaround for you I'll call it a day All right, so I just did my little do -si do and turn around uh, without a partner, of course, but um, to see, so you can see what they look like, and you've seen me cut them, you've seen me uh, cut the cords and flame the cords and do all that thing, and uh, it's just kind of a fun little DIY uh, style project, and, and for an ultra light, this is by far the lightest and thinnest and most flexible and almost unnoticeable piece of footwear probably in my whole barefoot shoe collection now so it is if, if that's something that you find a worthy goal you got to try these out again geniales and uh, I've, I've heard that I've watched her say that video a few more times in Austrian geniales and dale geniales and dale so check them out 50 bucks you know plus some shipping get a couple charms get a little buckle get you know whatever color you want of sole whatever color cord you want be creative uh, send me your pictures. I mean, uh, you know, connect with me on Instagram, DM me some pictures or get me in touch. I'd love to see what you guys do with your creativity. All right. But anyways, grab you some. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.